comic coming to the stage, very funny man, performs at clubs and colleges all over the country. Show some love for Jeff Simon. How's everybody doing? Uh, I just got back from Texas. My daughter just had another baby. Uh, I'm not sure who likes to say, you know, get a good deal, but the $50 I save on Spurred Ale lunch was not worth it. Yeah, it. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, uh, the, uh, you gotta pay for carry-ons. The cockpit smelled like weed. And my uh, flight attendant was a homeless person. Uh, thank God I had these weed lozenges on me. You know, I was pop one lozenger is equal to a joint, in case you don't know. I, I was popping them one after the other like core drops. After about one hour, I was so fucked up, I couldn't get out of my seat. And I had to take this wicked shit. Because I just had 50 bags of those, little bags of those unbelievably delicious airline roasted peanuts. <laughs> All right. My four-year-old grandson has been asking me a lot of questions. He wants to know, when is he going to be 96? I said, never. <laughs> Uh, there's this thing called dying. And then he wants to know, uh, he says, how big are you, Grandpa? He's like, no, he says, how, how many inches are you? I said, I used to be six, now I'm about, now I'm about two and a half, I'm lucky. I said, how, how big are you? And he goes, 40 inches. I said, there's no way a white guy could be 40 inches. So he just got measured in his doctor's office. And, <laughs> I tell you, man, I, 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 can't go to, I can't go to malls anymore. It's too depressing. I, you, when you walk past that section where the old people sit, you people know what I'm talking about, right? In my, my mall, it's right next to Macy's and the Sunglass Hut. I mean, they just sit there like some endangered species at a zoo, you know? With their mouths open and their cheap sneakers. They don't know what day of the week it is. There's one guy there, uh, he died five years ago. I went to his funeral. But he refuses to go on the ground. Come on, people, I need laughs. Uh, I don't have much time left. What do I got, like five, ten years? You people got your whole lifetime ahead of you. Come on, help me. Help me make this, this joke work. What am I doing wrong, people, you know? Um, I'll tell you, it's, uh, uh, it's tough growing up as a Jew uh, in New York. Any Jews here? All right, all right. One, two, all right. It's tough because we don't have any sports heroes. You know, like my, when I was a kid, my favorite Jew in the Yankees was the general manager. Uh, when we finally did get a Jew, Ronnie Bloomberg, he looked like Woody Allen with a baseball cap. When he, went, when he ran around the bases, he had either an inhaler. The only reason he was on the team was his father was part on. Uh, my weed dealer is, uh, is this really cool black dude. He's also a pimp. Uh, the weed's been really great lately. Really, but the only, the only problem is, whenever he comes up my house, he steals something. <laughs> Last week he sold his fold-up bed my kids use whenever they sleep over. My old weed dealer, I never had this problem. We used to meet at Starbucks. But the problem is, you know, the, you know, the problem is when, when somebody comes over my house, they say, what happened to all your furniture? You know, it's like annoying, you know? But uh, he's a pimp, and he gets me good discounts on chicks. I mean, his chicks are horrendous. I mean, they weigh like 300 pounds. I mean, they look like monsters, I swear to God. Last week, I banged a homeless chick. It was just, it's crazy. You know, you know, yeah, it's cheap, you know, you got a discount. But, uh... The other day I was watching, I was, I was high as a kite, I was watching, I was jerking off the Fox News anchors. And uh, I get called into work. I'm, I'm a pharmacist. I'm a pharmacist. And the last time I was going to work, I was chasing people down the street, asking them to let me see what's in their bag, to make sure I filled that prescription correctly. You know? I was paranoid, I was paranoid. When I got into work this week, I, I knew it was a problem because uh, I forgot my password to get on a computer. It was a problem. Come on, people, I'm getting old. <laughs> help me out here. Help me with these jokes, man. Help, 
I was, I was saying really stupid stuff to all the customers. Like this, 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 uh, this toothless, this old Jewish lady with no teeth, you know, asked me to recommend something for her budget. So I go, I go like this, you know? And she goes, what's that? Your, I said, your finger is the best thing. And, you know, I was stoned. I mean, what am I supposed to do? And then this guy, uh, this old, really old guy, uh, asked me to comment on his blood pressure. You know, you have this check your own blood pressure machine. You've seen him, right? It's, it's, it was really high. It was like through the roof. I said, I have a better chance of banging the supermodel than you have of being alive at this time tomorrow. <laughs> and then uh, this lady comes in with a Ziploc bag filled with white powder. And she wants to know what it is. So I taste it. I put some on my tongue. I said, it's sweet and low. <laughs> I offered her $400 for it. Uh, she wouldn't take it. I said, come back tomorrow, I get paid, I'll give you 800. You know, 800. Is Eric here? Am I, am, I a, am I out of time or what? Sure. Well, then, if you get a job. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Jeff Simon, you guys. Oh, one more time for Jeff Simon.